We are in Yorktown, Texas, and we are talking to Patsy Hand, who, it may be said, single-handedly rewrote the history of Lithuanian Americans. Previously, it was believed that the first Lithuanian communities in America were in Pennsylvania, and uh, her heritage research helped to find it out that there was quite a significant uh, Lithuanian community in Texas since mid-19th century. And this is the historical marker she helped to erect in Texas to commemorate this fact. So, uh, how did uh, you came uh, to the finding that your family was actually Lithuanian? That was a very big surprise. My grandmother was visiting with my mother, and so was I at the time. And I decided I better start asking some questions because my grandmother, of course, was getting older. She says, I'm German, she said, but she says, uh, not altogether. She says, my father could not talk the same language as my mother when they met. He was Lithuanian and she was German. But then like, like it all worked out because they got married, of course, and had uh, two girls, just two girls one of them being my grandmother. And so that's how I got, got to be Lithuanian. I didn't even know where Lithuania was <laughs> at the time, but I certainly learned where it was. So uh, did you find uh, letters or documents in your family archives that were written in Lithuanian? Uh, no, those letters did not come from my family. Those letters came from the Kerlik and Janeski family. Most of those letters were, of course, written. Some, well, some of them were written here in this town, but some of those letters came from Houston because they had relatives. One of them were Kerlik boys, sons of the immigrant. He stayed in, in Texas, he, in Houston. He didn't come to this area. And so there was correspondence back and forth. I don't remember how I found her, the lady, there was a lady that lived in New Brownsville's older lady, and she's the one that I went to talk to because her ancestors were like Beverly's. They were, she was a Lithuanian. She lived in an old farmhouse uh, all by herself. She was a wonderful old lady. Your research uh, led uh, you to find out that your family was not a single Lithuanian That's family right. in the region. I that, was very uh, surprised. There were many families, actually entire Lithuanian community that existed here in the mid 19th century. Well, let uh, me tell you how I found out about it. Beverly and my, her husband, myself and my husband, both went to the same Lutheran church in Victoria. And so one Sunday, the pastor had a prayer for a young man, a brother of Beverly. His last name was Kerlick. And the antenna goes up, you know, when, and so when church was over, I dash out of church. But by the way, Beverly was playing the organ at the time. And so she, she was about the last one to get out. I found her and I, we talked then about the fact that my family came from here too and hers did too. So then that's how we got together. They were Lutherans, so that's uh, probably one of the reasons why this community was not very well known to Lithuanian researchers, because it came not to the so-called Lithuania proper, but from Lithuania Minor, a Lutheran uh, majority region of Lithuania that used not to be controlled by the Russian Empire or by Poland in, in its history or in the union with Poland, but rather by Prussia and Germany. Now, most of the people of Lithuania Minor and their descendants uh, were unfortunately murdered or expelled during the World War II in the area by the Soviet Union. And it's very interesting to see that uh, their heritage uh, of those who have left the area more than 160 years ago still survives here in Texas. Wow, they and came here. It is now immortalized in this uh, plaque right. which you erected in 1994. How did you manage to create this historical marker? Was it difficult? How much work it took and what did you have to do to achieve this Lithuanians in Texas mark? Well, the first thing I had to do uh, was to get the okay from the DeWitt County Historical Commission. And so I got the name of the 
person that was in charge and talked to her. And right now I can't remember her name. And she sent me the papers to use to work on the marker. Beverly and I would, uh, then when, when I uh, found out that there was a cemetery, well then we got a, we have a, got two different, two or three different times, we got a group together. Like a Lithuanian cemetery, uh -huh, you mean, yeah. Uh, uh, to come and clean it up because it was in terrible shape. In Texas, there is a Lithuanian organization in San Antonio. Those people from San Antonio came down here to help us clean the cemetery. Mm -hmm. I came to the church here and looked for records there. As I progressed, I realized that I was finding more than just one or two families, like the cemetery. And looking at the census records, that's the best, the most wonderful thing we had back then. When I got the papers filled out, I sent them to the, the Texas Historical Commission office. So they have to approve them. And they did. I think I had one error, and I had to fix that and send it back. After they approved it, then they took the message that was on there, and they had the marker made. But so you had to pay for it, yes? Yes. Uh, I, did, I didn't pay for it by, by myself. I can't remember if the Historical Commission in DeWitt County paid for it or whether I had Lynn and Beverly and I have some other cousins of mm. mine in Victoria. And, you know, I don't remember. There's been a lot of water under the bridge since then. Mm. And uh, got it mounted. And uh, that was, then we had the dedication there at the marker. We had a Catholic priest, I guess, gave a total little inv invocation. There was a lady there that uh, was very, very interested in DeWitt County history. And I would always come over and talk to her about things. She was a big help, n not in my, my research, but telling me about the people around here. Like my great, my, my great grandfather, he had a business in uh, Yorktown. He was a uh, go-getter, I mean, you know, and uh, he probably mowed more people down than he picked up. He was a, quite, a, quite a character. He lived in a senior citizen Lutheran home for older people up in the, in the country somewhere. And I went to visit him one time. But the, the marker was strictly my idea and my research that got it where it's at. I am very glad it stands there indeed as uh, far too many old Lithuanian communities which are even younger than the Yorktown, Texas Lithuanian community are forgotten or remembered perhaps only by some people but uh, even for us when we research uh, the Lithuanian American heritage for our website global.ruluthania.com it is often difficult uh, to find out uh, that uh, some community even existed if it was like 100 years ago but it was very easy about uh, Yorktown uh, really? Lithuanian community yeah. because of the marker because of the cemetery and because of all the other things this marker and cemetery and your research has attracted including attention from the Lithuanian uh, researchers from Lithuania from Boston and elsewhere so I am very glad you started it and I hope uh, this will inspire other descendants of Lithuanians whose uh, ancestors came 100 or more years ago to do something like this in their own cities. And if you will do it, we will certainly add it to our map uh, at map.ruluthania.com, which is map of Lithuanian American heritage sites so all over North America. Here's going to be this big dot down here in South Texas. Indeed, several dots. One for cemetery, one for marker, oh, one really? for museum. Oh, yeah. More than you one. zoom in and you will see oh, all the dots. <laughs> how about that? Well, that'll be great. You know, I, I always felt like Lithuania. I mean, it, we were like, we were like the, a little pea in a big pot, you know? All these Germans, and here was this small group of Lithuanians. You know, 
So, and of course, at first, where, where'd they come from? You know, I didn't even know where Lithuania was. So, you know, it's been really interesting to uh, have been able to do the research. And, and, you know, there's so much available now over the internet to do research. Oh, so it's just amazing.